We saw him today. He looks a, a strapping individual. Well, he's a, he is a beautiful, good-looking, big horse. He got the name Big Buzz because of the size. I mean, he's 16-1, but he's he's a big, gentle giant, which is just, you can just see that that's why he's got better and better with age because he's so big, he's just getting into his getting into his frame now. He's just starting to fill his frame lovely. He's five years old at the moment, and he's in good form because he's won his last two races for you. Yeah, his last two was listed race at Newmarket and then he, he carried a penalty and won a listed race at Kempton, mm -hmm. which um, was a really good performance and he's just in a very good place. He's going, really is going, going places at the moment. That Kempton race was in the All-Weather Championship qualifier, so it gives you options for Big Baz now. After Dubai, perhaps, to come back and, and run in one of those, it certainly uh, gives you a few more things on the table. I know we've got a lot of options. We go to Dubai and he does really well and we're lucky enough to get an invite to World Cup night. Then we'd stay and do that. If he doesn't, if he if he goes out and does reasonably well, we could come home and we have got Good Friday on the on the agenda as well. So yeah, he's got all the all the options are open to him. The the winning you mentioned it at Newmarket was in October. The final meeting I guess it must have been and it was softish ground what kind of ground do you think he prefers well I don't think he likes soft ground he'd had a break from Goodwood I turned him away and give him four or six weeks out in the paddock because he had just gone over the top after mm -hmm. a long winter and summer he just had he needed a break so that was his first run back so he's now just probably coming to the peak of his season now um, so I think he copes with soft ground but it's not his love love of the ground when we go back onto the poly track or fast ground is what his best surface is He's had seven wins in his career to date, all at a mile. Would you be looking to stay at a mile or do you think there's options to, to go further with him? No, we will have to start at nine furlongs in Dubai. There's two races over nine furlongs and then we'll drop back to a mile. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he'll be I think he'll be adequate quit at either nine furlongs or a mile. I think he's very versatile, he's easy to ride, you can put him in anywhere in a race. So I think nine furlongs or eight furlongs not a problem. And as you say, he's such a, a big horse, he's, he's still growing into that, he's still getting a bit more used to having that surrounding because he's, he's very tall, isn't he, really? Well, but because he was big, he, he, didn't, he didn't run at two or he didn't run until December of a three-year-old. So he had two years, you know, two and three-year-olds where he didn't really rise. Mm -hmm. um, so now he's just, he's had his learning curve, he's matured, he's now probably at his peak, he's just coming to his peak season. And you're looking forward to taking him over there and, and having a having a good chance with him as well, wouldn't you? Really? Well, it's it's nice to get horses like this that you can go and compete in these type of yeah. carnival events. I mean, you know, small stables like ours, we don't normally get horses that we'll, you know, we go out and buy horses to try and get to this level. And you know, we've got one one here in Big Buzz that will be able to compete at this level. Let's talk about Stepper Point, who's your sprinter and a horse that you've always loved. I remember speaking to you a couple of years ago, probably two and a half, three years ago about him. Even then, you were saying what a lovely horse he is. He's been, he's done us fantastic. He was really good as a two-year-old. He won his listed race very, very comfortable in a very fast time at Longchamp. Likes the fast ground, like, doesn't mind any ground. He's very easy. You can make the running, you can track the leaders. He's a sprinter. He was second in the King's Stand two years ago and second in the Nanthorpe, just beaten by the, the really good horse, Soul Power. Mm. Um, he won a Group 2, beating Mecca's Angel this year in Ireland, and he's just in great place at the moment. So there's a few races out there, starting off in handicaps, which he hasn't dropped into handicaps, but these are very high-class handicaps. Yeah. So they would suit his first two runs are gonna be handicaps. And if he does really well, he'll end up going to this big sprint on Super Saturday. And again, if we get an invite to World Cup night, fantastic. That Mecca's Angel defeat in the Invincible Spirit over in Ireland, that, that form stands up in any way you look at it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's great form. It was really good form. They say the ground wasn't probably quite soft enough. It was it was on the easy side that day. It was good it was good ground. So, you know, it may not have been ideal for Mecca's Angel, but my horse just put it up to and they and, and they raced they raced hard. They went a long way clear of the field and it was a really good time. You kept him on his travels as well. He's been back to Ireland and went to the Puy de la Bay and long shot on, on Arc Day as well. So he's used to travelling around a bit. Oh, he's, he's a great traveller. He went to Dubai last year for the World Cup night. He's had a long holiday since since the Abbey and he's coming back, so he wouldn't run until sort of the end of January, but he's on his way back and he's in really good shape. 
and he's one of these real five furlong horses. That's it. Is it? That's his trip. That's that's what he does. Yeah, he's a five furlong horse, so he'll race over five furlongs. There's three or four races for him in Dubai, and um, you know we'll go out and give it our best shot. We were talking on the gallops, tactical wise, because every time, pretty much every time I've seen him, he's been at the front making the pace. But you say he's not a one one trick pony in that respect. He wouldn't mind which way you rode him. You can make the running. If they're going faster than him, you can track the leaders. When he got beat by Sol Perrin and Nunthorpe, he tracked the leaders. He took it up inside the last for a long, and he just got caught in the last two strides. Mm -hmm. So, no, he, he's very versatile. He doesn't mind, and he's just been one of those horses that's very straightforward to do anything with.